Hello everyone, my name is Prakash Mathani and today I'm going to talk about how to insert your ASP.NET form data to a SQL Server using ASP.NET 5 and Visual Studio 2015. So what I'm going to do is I have created a simple default.ASPX form here and where I've just inserted two text box and one submit button so that on a submit button click we can insert data to our database. So what we have to do is now we have to create a database. So just go to your sol solution explorer and in your solution right click on your solution and there is <coughs> add option just go there and click on SQL Server database and just give your database a name I'm gonna give my database name as a test and just click on OK say yes and you will see in your solution explorer or server explorer there is your test.mdf is created now just go inside your test.mdf there is a table right click on table click on add new table and you can just give the name of your table from here I'm giving my table a name data and I have created two text box here so uh, against that I have to create two fields here where I can store the text box data so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a name section and put the value varchar of that and here I'm gonna create surname and also the value is for the surname is varchar so once that is done uh, you can remove your primary key that is created we don't need that one so once it is done just click on the update section here and click on update database and you can see the status is there all thing is correct and we have updated the database successfully and for checking this just go to your table here and just refresh your table once and after that check your table there is a data created data table created and there is the name and surname created there so what I have to do is now I have to just <coughs> write a code to insert data from the form to my SQL server so just go your default.aspx just click on double click on submit and uh, you'll be redirected to your default.aspx.cs code that is C code and uh, you have to include one or two header file here that is system.data.sql client or you can also include HTML control or web part control header file there once that is created just create a SQL connection here just type SQL connection put the variable name con and then new SQL collection that's equal to new SQL connection double code there semicolons for ending that and inside double q2 so inside that Q2, uh, you have to uh, include your connection string. So how we can fetch the connection string is go to Server Explorer and click on your database, right click on your database, go to property section and there is a connection string you can see here. Just click on that and control A and control C. It will select the entire connection string and paste inside that section and press control S. So now that it's saved. <coughs> and now go to your button click section here and what you have to do is you have to open a connection first con dot open and once it is open you have to create SQL command there SQL command cmd is equal to dot create command double column and this one <coughs> now put the command type cmd dot command type is equal to command type dot text so double am
system dot data dot command type dot text once that is created now you have to just type a command here cmd dot command text and inside that you have to insert your data to insert into my table name so my table name is data so insert into data values and here you can just type double colon then single colon then double colon then double plus <coughs> comma and then just can copy the entire this code and just put it here okay it's just showing error in text section above we don't need to include this here and now inside that double plus uh, we can see that in our default.aspx we have uh, created two text box and the id of the two text box is text box 1 and text box 2 so we have to just mention these text box 1 and text box 2 id here text box 1 dot text data will be going there and text box 2 dot text data is going here so once that is done cmd dot execute non query and close your connection con dot close so that's all we have to do so by using this code we can insert our data from form to our sql database so just press ctrl s and debug your file press f5 so we can see that we are in a browser section so that is we can put any name so just type abc and def on surname and just click on submit so my data is submitted there so what i have to do now I have to check that whether my data is been on my database or not so just go to your solution explorer just refresh your database and go to your data table and go to show data table data and you can see that there is abc and def coming in my name and surname section as i have included here so that means our data has been successfully inserted to our sql database or data table so that is the basic uh, operation that how we can insert our form data to our sql database so that's all from mine thank you so much